Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I have a quick tip for those having keyboard issues. And if you stay right to the end, there's a bonus tip on using emojis in Windows 10. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had two different users with laptop keyboard issues. One seemed to have copped a bump that dislodged the mechanism under the key, and the other just had the E and D keys that simply weren't working at all. The first I was able to fix by flipping up the key and then realigning the mechanism. The second was a hardware fault and simply needed to be replaced under warranty. I did have a couple of options for the user in the meantime. One was to plug in an external USB keyboard or to use the on-screen keyboard, which was met with a blank stare of incomprehension. So what is the on-screen keyboard? It's a keyboard that pops up on the screen that you can then click on the individual keys with the mouse or tap on the screen if you've got a touch screen. In much the same way as you use a keyboard on your phone or tablet, it's also built into Windows. There's a variety of ways that you can open the on-screen keyboard. Using the mouse, you can click on the Start menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, then click on Windows Ease of Access, and then click On-Screen Keyboard. You can also type OSK into the Start menu or the Run box, or just press Windows Control O on the keyboard. And here's the on-screen keyboard, and you can just click on it and type away merrily. Not terribly fast, but better than nothing. Before you get into Windows, at the login screen, there's also a solution. If you click on the Ease of Access icon down the bottom right corner, that's sort of a dotted three-quarter circle, it pops up a menu, and from there you can click the on-screen keyboard. Handy if one of the keys that's not working is in your password. It's not terribly fast, but it's more convenient than carrying around a USB keyboard. And it might just be enough to make somebody happy in the short term until they can get it fixed, or productive when they're otherwise stuck. On the topic of on-screen keyboards, Microsoft also recently added an emoji pop-up keyboard to Windows 10. If you press the Windows key and the semicolon key, or the Windows key and the full stop key, it will pop up this cute little window full of emojis. You can either scroll through and pick one, but be warned, there's lots of emojis and lots of categories. Or you can simply keep typing and search for the emoji that you want. How's that for useful and fun? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used an on-screen keyboard. And leave an emoji in it if you can get the emoji keyboard to work, assuming you're on one of the latest versions of Windows 10. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe to our weekly newsletter by clicking up here to get news, tips, and more information about my new book when it comes out. You can click down here to subscribe to the YouTube channel, or there's videos here and here that you might not have seen before. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.